I'm going to try an experiment using, um, if you don't have any paint at home, and one of the things I'd like to try making, uh, Mother's Day is coming, is some paper flowers. This was made with a coffee filter, and then I changed the color by making a little bit of paint. You can, of course, if you don't have paint, use food coloring, but, and you can blend all of these colors, you know, that the red and the yellow makes orange, and that yellow and blue makes green. But if you don't have food coloring, what you might have is some jam. So here's a hot red pepper jelly, and that's this one right over here. And I've got a little bit of cherry jam, but you could use strawberry jam or raspberry, and that's over here. And then I've also got a cranberry, uh, cranberry with oranges. And so just see what you have in the fridge and you don't need a lot, right? So just a tiny, tiny bit. And then I'm gonna use a tiny bit of hot water, like not too, too much, and just blend it with the hot water. The reason I, I think hot water is better is because it just, it just uh, adds a little bit of opportunity to moisten and you can see that what I can do is I can keep the jam there as a more intense color. And then you can see that there's like a light orange that's starting to develop here. Let's try the cherry jam. Let's see how that works out. Again, a tiny, tiny bit of water, not too much. That might've been too much. And then I'm just blending it, blending it. Just trying to dilute it a little bit, right? Little by little. And it'll just give like a light pink color very, very light. So if I wanted it to be a stronger color, what I would do is use less water and just mostly keep the jam. All right, let's see how this works. So I've got the flour. And one of the things, if you don't have coffee filters, that's fine. Be sure to check with your parents because coffee is very important to some people and we don't want to use up their valuable supplies. And then I'm just touching it to here. You'd see how it's changing the color, right? So even if you don't have jam, you could also dip the ends of some of your markers in the colors, right? And then what I've done is little by little, you add the color. So you can see how it's just gonna be like a faint pink. Let's try the orange. Let's see how this looks. So I'm gonna take my rose over here, right? And you see that the brush is fading. If you don't have a brush, you can use um, maybe somebody in the family has a makeup brush. You could try doing that and you could try making a brush, just getting some hairs from maybe even a pet. I know that sounds crazy. And a little bit of tape around the end and then tape it to a stick. Okay, let's try the orange. Let's see how this looks. So again, I'm just gonna put a little bit of the orange on here and little by little. Oh, it's definitely, it's definitely orange. I don't know. I think if I were to do many, many layers of this, the color would build up over time. But it's definitely changed the color from uh, what it was before, which was pure white, to this other color. So we've got a little bit of pink on one side, a little bit of orange on the other. Now, I mean, obviously, uh, if you were using computer paper, it would not be as an intense as color because this type of, of material is very absorbent. So instead of computer paper, like I said, you could use um, maybe a little tiny bit of paper towel. Paper towel is also absorbent. Toilet paper is also absorbent. But again, in your family, if you don't have access to, this is a bit of food coloring that I've used here that's just dried up. So I'm gonna just moisten it with a little bit of the water that you can see my brush moving there. And I can add some of the color onto the rose. You can see the, the color is a little bit more intense with the food coloring than it would be with the jam. But you could also use, if you have frozen juice or you have frozen berries, you could try using those as well. You see how beautiful that is, that, that pink? So Mother's Day is coming in May. It would be so nice if we could make all the lovely ladies of your household a beautiful flower bouquet um, that we could attach to some sticks. So start looking for some sticks outside and start looking around the kitchen for berries or uh, jams or things in your fridge or food coloring if you don't have paint. Good luck.